Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'll be designing this simple symbol inside SolidWorks. Now, to uh, the mo main motive of this tutorial is to make you understand how to do kind of knurling pattern on uh, symbol. Uh, most uh, often you have seen this kind of pattern on a barbell or symbol. Some of the gym equipments have this kind of uh, feature, which is basically helpful while so let's see how we can quickly design this in SolidWorks. Let's this for now. Let's go to new part. Okay. Now the document setting is settings that uh, I'm I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use a EGS unit system. Then come over here on bottom right and select your EGS system. So after that, once you have set the units, let's go front plane sketch. And I'm gonna start with center line. Now, if you haven't watched the tutorial on dynamic mirror, make sure you watch it. I have it on my channel, and uh, I will utilize the dynamic once again. So let's go to tools, sketch tools, select my center line, which basically specifies that this will be the Access for the mirror, and then we can proceed with the profile. I'm gonna start from Right, so this is the shape of the handle. Then I'm gonna add dimension two centimeter. Fifteen centimeter. Define an angle to this. To this point. See it makes the shape this point adding the now we can add our angle constraint so to to that will make your sketch fully defined which with the sketch, go for a ball pass base software option. We have a handle for the dumbbell. Let's uh, define some pattern on this face right over here. And to do that, I'm gonna go right plane sketch. Dimension then exit the sketch. Okay, this is my sketch tool. I will now insert a helix. So let's go for helix dimension. Select then I'm gonna right and pitch for the values. Can you height as 1.75 and pitch as 10? Uh, change in start angle as 130. Okay, that's fine. That what I can do. I can do another file. Let's go right to sketch. I'm gonna do a center rectangle. All one action good 
console. Next, I'm gonna center point. This point of helix. And also select select the center point of the rectangle, the helix or spheres. Fill located on that end. After that, I'm gonna get the sketch. Go for a swept cut. I'll select. Now, if you see, it will is going further, which I don't want. I'm gonna go to option uh, and check align with end faces. So, or it was going with the end faces was my end face, and it's taking all over it with wall but i don't want it to go that so uncheck align end faces and then now we have a cut can this cut and for us pattern round d So let's go now before that you have to assign direction so let's select then for the feature select set cut a preview of your the pattern happy and press the green tick or this can read this clockwise direction also but uh, can do can create a plane and then mirror it let's go for three right plane at a distance of 1.75 divided by 2. Okay, now I'm gonna use this plane to create another mirror. That another pattern. Let's go for mirror, a plane for the feet. Circular pattern. Tick. You can do it either ways. You can either also do it anti-clockwise, the whole helix thing, and the cut sweep, or you can utilize this shortcut, which is basically create a plane in between and then mirror it. The plane. Now we have half part, so we can mirror it the direction. Select my right plane time and tick that will create curling pattern all around. Okay, so this is what the knurling pattern that I wanted, or you can modify pattern depending on your values of uh, helix pitch and all pretty much plain. now let's do the end part of the dumbbell i can this face go to from the origin let's do twelve centimeter let the sketch with boss base five it's fine so that uh, I can
pages. Space because it will select right so keep the we can keep the distance as 1.5 and the angle as 45 and do the mirror same pictures go for straight box please okay very quickly you can buy the material Let's go for rubber. Let's go for metal steel. Can pretty much apply different material if you want. That's how you can create and utilize the dynamic mirror as well as the knurling pattern. All it works. I hope you guys like it, and if you have any doubts with this one, feel free to comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.